Oh, there's Penny doing it all over again. Walking up to Flatiron Reservoir, the dam side here. We're just outside of Loveland. Flatiron Reservoir. I find it odd that you can see that pipeline over there. That's how the water moves around here. So you can't fly fish that pipeline over there. So you got these reservoirs. We got rainbow trout in them. Let's see if we can get some. We have not fished from this side before. There's a heron down there. Right off the bank. Looks like the water's way down right now. Able to walk out here, it should be filled up to there. Okay. We'll meet up with him, see what he's doing. I gave him a handicap, he got started a little earlier than me. Ha, just kidding. All right, trout right there. We got a worm under a bobber. I'm gonna set up a chair. And another rod. This is cool. Because when the water fills up, then I know what this terrain is like where the fish can get into some of these spots to hide, feed. So now you get a little look at the terrain. Working two rods here. Went with a yellow Panther Martin with the red dots. Just kind of pulling that in slow and steady. And I've got a night crawler hanging out over there. Moving towards shore. So we got fish all over the place doing all kinds of stuff and it's the middle of the day so that's a great sign and we got a fish oh it's off there it goes little rainbow that was cool and this is coming into shore, so we'll go ahead and recast this one. All right. Yeah. So I was just getting here. Caught one real quick. I gave Ben a handicap. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> but that was fun. <laughs> Didn't have to get wet. <laughs> So I wasn't able to come out fishing last week. I was getting a little medical attention. My tongue swollen the size of a log. But we're back now. The surface action has pretty much stopped. So it might be time to move everything a little bit deeper here. I hate when they do that. All right, we're on again. What do we got? Oh, <laughs> that was a jumper. <laughs> Thank you. 
right, fish on the crawler here. Looks like a decent size one and it's hooked in the face, so that's nice. Come on in. Right through the nose, thank you. Hey, hey, it's easier for me to get it out if you're not wiggling like that. Go upside down, go to sleep. There you go. All right, let me show you the YouTube. First one in my hand of the day. Had that one wiggle off right here at the bank. He's ready to go. Cool. This worm is certainly mashed up enough. We'll go ahead and put another one on, get that back out there. I was noticing the water here in this area where I caught him it has a little point sticking out. Oh, here we go. Starting to see him rise again. Fish number two coming in here. Looks like another rainbow. Decent size, maybe a keeper. Yeah, well, that's a good fish. There's Penny doing it all over again. Can we bring this one in? All right, we got a fish in the net. So Rainbow, finally got one in. Figured I can touch one instead of just letting them go in the water. We got super lucky and somebody in the campground across the way is playing their music loud enough for all of us to hear. Otherwise we'd have to listen to nature and birds and stuff. <laughs> there we go now I don't have to touch him I got a good jump out of him though there we go smaller there you go this bird just caught a really nice fish before I started shooting look at him he's hunting I don't know how well you can see this but there's a dark line from the sand where it drops Right in that shadowed area, it seems like that's where all the fish have been coming from. I go out a little further out there, and I don't get none until I come into this area. So they're all, all the hits have been really close by. You can see them come up and attack the lure when they come across that. So most of my chances now, I believe, I look better when I'm running along that black line or that dark shaded area where it drops and gets deep and you can't see in there. So 
or running sideways rather than throwing straight out has been more promising, more productive. Got another one on the crawler here. Looks like a rainbow. There he goes. <laughs> so <laughs> the lure float and just as I got this together it was sitting there for a little bit just as I got it together a fish had hit it was taking off with it one more rainbow on the night crawler for good measure We'll see how he's hooked. I might keep this one too. No. Right in the face. Get a grip on it. <laughs> All right. Get out of here. Not a bad little fish. Would be good eating, but he's healthy and hook came right up, so we'll get him back in the water. Alright, I think that's six fish for me. Let me go see what Ish is up to. Little one. Oh, are you serious? Well, I forgot to punch record. <laughs> I went the underwater shot. That's all right. We're gonna call it a day from uh, Flatiron Reservoir. Yeah, caught some trout. Lots of trout. And uh, just a nice quick afternoon. It feels like a mountain lake without having to go to a mountain lake. It fishes like a mountain lake. It's just full of trout. So nice little spot right outside of Loveland, uh, part of the Carter Lake system. Yeah, it's fun. Fun for the kids, fun for the family. We've caught with spinners off of the uh, wheelchair accessible dock across the lake from where we were today. Uh, this side is a little bit more of a walk-in. Uh, pretty easy for even kids could do this side too. So good family spot. Uh, there's a campground over there. You can check that out if you're into that kind of thing. And, uh, you know, not a big adventure, but we caught fish and had a nice time. So uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe. We'd like to get to 200 by the end of June. So help us out with that. Hit that button. And uh, I think that's it. Catch you next time. Front Range Fishing. Have fun fishing. Fishing.